Hey guys, I'm back to show you a new vid on how I achieve my top knot. My signature look. It's very quick and easy, so stay tuned. All right, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is get a good handful of your hair out in the front. And I think my hair is just really like big right now because I did a twist out earlier this week. So you only need a, a good amount on the front half of your hair out. You don't even really have to do this much, but I did. Um, so you just need a good amount to like blend with the wig in the front. Um, and the, the fact that I have this much hair out, it kind of just makes it look like it's really my hair, but you don't need that much hair out. Um, and then the rest of the hair in the back, you can braid it down. You don't have to have on a wig cap, but I do. So I have on the wig cap. Um, and the products that I use are um, Eco Styler Gel. Which one is this? This is the olive oil. So I use this. I either, I'll sometimes use another um, edge control, but I'm using Edge Freak right now. Ah. Come on. All right, you can see as much as, I'll, I'll provide the link. <laughs> there we go, all right. I use that as edge control and then I'll use these little bitty bobby pins too just so you don't see them like just to once I'm done putting it in the ponytail and then I, I have an edge control brush I don't know I just bought it because I needed to get to like the five dollar limit to use my debit card you know how that goes and then it has a little comb at the end too um so after you after you've already parted your hair now you'll need to part the wig all right so usually it would be down with the rest of the wig all right cool so because i've done it a couple times it's already kind of parted but you don't need a lot so this is the front of the wig or the top of the wig rather um and then you just grab like this much of the hair Yes, look at you can kind of look straight through it right now, but when it's on my head, you can't really tell. So you're just going to grab a handful of hair, enough for you to blend with your own hair. Um, not too much because you don't want it to be, you want it to still be full at the bottom, if that makes sense. Yeah, she's getting a little worn. She's getting a little worn, but we're going we gonna to rock her out. And I, I, I also may do a video on how to dip and get like the parts that are like kind of combed out already. I'll show you guys how to get them back similar to how it was when you first purchased the wig, but that'll be another video. So yes, once you've gathered a good amount, like a handful of hair in order to blend with your hair, then um, you can throw the wig on your head. All right, so we're gonna throw big hands on top. Oh, this hair is so tough sometimes. Okay. Got my clip in at the top. And at the bottom. All right. Now, it's time to gather up your hair and the hair that you separated and then just make sure you Comb down the hair you don't want in the ponytail. Cause it gets, and I would suggest using the elastic, um, what did you call these? Hair bowls, I don't know. You need to use these. They're just straight up elastic. There's no fabric around it. You can get them at Walmart, any drugstore. I use these cause I love them. They don't pull my hair out. And it's by the scrunchy, scrunchy brand, whatever. Um, I'll provide the link for that too. But now I'm gonna put some Eco Styler gel. Sometimes I'll put water on my brush too, just to loosen up my hair, especially if it's been in a bonnet all night. Um, so I use a good amount of the Eco Styler gel.
My neighbors are walking so hard. Oh my God. Okay. So yeah, a good amount just to get all the flyaways and Grab it up right here. And I'll just put a little bit of edge control. I'll put more after I put it in the actual top knot, but just some on the edges so that you can brush it down. Then we'll come after and use the edge control brush. Got that brushed up real good. All right, like I said, you wanna make sure there's no hair that'll come up when you're trying to wrap it around the hair. Get it all through. One, two, and then I will do the knot right here now this is my hair right here I'm just gonna stick it in here and then it's like because it's shorter than the actual knot then I'll just start to pull it to make it bigger and then just start to separate the curls and stuff if you've had your wig for a while you know you just got to Finger comb that thing, because it's a finger comb a wig. All right. Yeah, that was a good run. I'm so glad it, it went like that. It usually doesn't go like that when I'm doing it without the camera. So just a little more. Just a little more. On my nail. Then we're gonna come through with the brush to get these baby hairs, grown woman hairs popping off. I usually don't do a little S on my chest, but we can today for fun. <laughs> oh, wee! Oh! Oh, man. Okay, just coming back through real quick. Got yeah, some more. Shoot, I can't see myself. Okay. You see that? So for some reason today, I don't actually need the bobby pins, but if I did, um, I would usually put them like one right here, one right here, and then one right here, just after I've brushed it up. That's if my hair was doing its own thing and didn't wanna lay flat, but for some reason, it did. So I'm not gonna put them in there. <sighs> okay, that was simple and easy. Told you guys, I just wanted to do a quick vid on how I do my top knots because y'all know that's my signature look, especially for the summertime. And it's about to get warm. Ta-da! So I'm glad that you guys checked it out. Um, like I said, I'll do another video on how to get these parts looking similar to how it was when you first got your wig with the curly ends. So I'll do another video maybe next weekend. Um, all right, but thanks for checking it out. Bye.